Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Benni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Examination Question Paper in the subject Heat Radiation. This is lecture number 15 on preliminary questions. The first question, the source of energy which keeps the sun shining for billions of years is, there are four options, combustion of hydrogen, nuclear fission of light element, nuclear fission of heavy element, interaction of currents in the interior of the sun with the galactic magnetic field. The answer to the question, the source of energy in the sun is nuclear fusion reaction in which hydrogen nuclei fuses into helium nuclei. So, this is nuclear fusion of light elements. The reason for sun shining for billions of years is nuclear fusion, fusion of light elements. Next question, during the cold weather conditions, cricket players prefer to wear white woolen sweater rather than colored woolen sweater. The reason is that white wool comparatively absorbs less heat from the body, emits less heat to the atmosphere. Which of the above statements are correct? So, the white woolen cloth sweater absorbs light heat from the body, that is true, emit less heat to the atmosphere, that is also true. So, the answer to the question both 1 and 2. Both 1 and 2 are correct statements. During the cold weather condition, the body temperature is higher than the surrounding temperature. The emissivity absorbity of the white body is 0. So, the reflectivity is 1. So, it absorbs less heat from the body. At the same time, it emits less heat to the atmosphere. Both statements are correct. The next question, if your body is at 2000 Kelvin, the wavelength at which the body emits maximum amount of radiation is, there are four options, numerical values are given. So, to solve the question, to find the answer, we have to use the Wayne's displacement law. So, the Wayne's displacement law states that lambda max into T equal to 2897.8 micrometer Kelvin. So, we have to calculate the lambda max, maximum wavelength the for radiation, maximum radiation. So, substituting the temperature lambda max into 2000 equal to 2897.8 micrometer Kelvin. So, lambda max equal to 1.45 micrometer. So, the answer is 1.45 micrometer. The next question, the temperature of a body of area is 0 0.1 meter square is 900 Kelvin. The wavelength for maximum monochromatic emissive power will be nearly. We have four options. So, you read the options. So, here again, we have to use the Wayne's displacement law to calculate the wavelength for the maximum monochromatic emissive power. So, lambda max into T equal to 2897.8 micrometer Kelvin, that is the Wayne's displacement law. So, substituting the temperature lambda max into 900 equal to 2897.8 micrometer Kelvin. So, calculating lambda max equal to 3.2 micrometer. So, the answer is 3.2 micrometer. Next question, an isolate, an isothermal cubical black body, the size of the cubical body is 10 meter by 10 meter by 10 meter, the side of the cube is 10 meter is at 200 degrees Celsius suspended in the air. The total radiation emitted by this body to its surrounding will be, there are four options numerical values. So, you go through the values and here we have to calculate the total radiation of the black body using the Stephen Boltzmann law. So, the emissive power of a black body equal to sigma A into T to the power 4. So, sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant, A is the area, surface area of the cube and t to the power 4. So, sigma is 5.67 10 power minus 8, 
area six times the side square. So six into ten square, ten meter is the side of the cube. Ten, six into ten square multiplied by temperature two hundred degrees Celsius, which is four seventy three Kelvin. So four seventy three to the power four equal to thousand seven hundred two point eight six in ten power three watts. So the answer is thousand seven hundred two point eight six kilowatts. The option A is the correct answer, 1,702.9 kilowatts. The next question, a 1 meter diameter spherical cavity is maintained at a uniform temperature of 500 Kelvin. The emissivity of the material of the sphere 0 0.5, one 10 mm diameter hole is drilled. The maximum rate of radiation energy steaming through the hole will be, there are four options given. At the same time, this is the diagrammatic representation of the problem. We have a 1 meter diameter spherical cavity. At the center of the cavity, we have 10 mm diameter hole. So, the maximum rate of radiant energy steaming through the hole Q equal to sigma A into epsilon into 2 to the power 4. So, the Sigma is 5.67 10 power minus 8 Stephen Boltzmann constant. Area pi by 4 d square. So, 3.14 divided by 4 into 0 0.01 square. So, the 10 millimeter equal to 0 0.01 meter, 0 0.01 square into 0 0.5 is the emissivity of the material into 500 to the power 4. So, this is equal to 0 0.139 watts. So, the correct answer is option B, 0 0.139 watts. The next question in the heat radiation, for the same type of shapes, the value of radiation shaft factor will be higher when the surfaces are more closer only, move, moved further apart, smaller and held closer, larger and held closer. So, the correct option is larger and held closer. When the surfaces are large and held closer, all the radiation leaving from one surface is completely striking on the other surface. The shape factor normally equal to very close to 1. The next question, for a hemispherical furnace with a flat circular base of diameter capital D, the view factor from the dome to its base is we have four options 0 0.5, 1, 0, 0 0.32. So, the correct answer is 0 0.5. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the arrangement. We have a hemispherical dome. This is represented by the surface 2 and the base circle is represented by surface 1. Area of the base circle A1 equal to pi r square. Area of the hemisphere A2 equal to 2 pi r square. So, from the reciprocity rule, reciprocity rule A1 F1 to equal to A2 F2 1. So, this rule we have to use to calculate the unknown shape factor. So, considering the arrangement, the radiation leaving from the surface 1 is completely falling on the surface 2. But the radiation leaving from the surface 2, it is falling on the surface 1 as well as it is falling on its own surface. So, for example, the radiation leaving from this corner will be falling on the base circle as well as the dome itself. So, all the radiation from the base falls on the dome. So, F12 equal to 1. So, in this equation, substitute F12 equal to 1 and rearrange. So, F21 equal to A1 by A2. So, this is pi r square divided by 2 pi r square. So, pi r square is getting cancelled 1 by 2 equal to 0 0.5. So, the total amount of heat radiating from the surface 2 from the dome, the portion of amount of energy falling on the surface 1 is only 50 percent. The next question, solar radiation of 1000 watts per meter square is incident on a grey opaque surface with emissivity of 0 0.4. The emissive power of 400 watts per meter square. The radiosity of the surface will be, we have four options. So, the among the four options, the correct answer is 760 watts per meter square. So, we calculate incident radiation G equal to 1000 watts per meter square, emissive power of the gray body E B equal to 
400 watts per meter square. Emissivity of the gray body epsilon equal to 0 0.4. The radiosity of the surface J equal to epsilon EB into 1 minus epsilon G. So, substituting 0 0.4, the emissivity of the surface is 0 0.4 into 400 plus 0 0.6, 1 minus epsilon is 0 0.6 into 1000, which is 760 watts per meter square. So, the correct answer is 760 watts per meter square. The next question, a body in the form of a sphere of 2 centimeter radius at a temperature of T1 located in a body 2, which is a hollow cube of 5 cm side and at a temperature T2, where T2 is less than T1. The shear factor F21 for radiation heat transfer becomes, we have 4 options. So, the correct answer is 0 0.34. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the arrangement. We have a sphere represented by the surface 1, which is placed inside a cubical box or represented by surface 2. The area of the sphere A1 equal to 4 pi r square, 4 pi into 2 square equal to 50.26 centimeter square. Area of the cube A2 equal to 6 times A square, so 6 into 5 square equal to 150 centimeter square. From the reciprocity rule, a1 f12 equal to a2 f21 so looking at the cube arrangement the radiation leaving from the surface 1 is completely falling on the cubical box whereas the heat radiation leaving from the surface 2 it is not completely falling on the surface 1 so some portion of the radiation falling on the surface of the sphere the remaining portion may fall on the wall of the cube itself so all radiation from the sphere falls on the cube wall so, F12 equal to 1. So, the radiation leaving from the surface 1 is completely falling on the cube wall. So, F12 equal to 1. So, you substitute the F substitute the F1 equal to F12 equal to 1 in this equation. So, F21 equal to A1 by A2, which is 50.26 divided by 150 equal to 0 0.335. So, 33.5 percentage of radiation is falling from the walls of the cube to the surface of the sphere that is what the F21. The answer is 0 0.335. Next question, the view factor F12 and F21 for the sphere of diameter small d and the cubical box length equal to d as shown in the figure respectively. We have to calculate F12 and F21. So, the four options 1 and pi by 3, pi by 3 and 1. 1 and pi by 6, pi by 6 and 1. The correct answer is 1 and pi by 6. That is F12 equal to 1, F21 equal to pi by 6. So, we will see how in the next slide, we take the same arrangement here. A1 is the area of the sphere at the center. A2 is the area of the, the cube. Area of the sphere is A1 equal to pi d square. Area of the cube a2 equal to 6L square, which is 6D square. So, from the reciprocity rule, A1 F12 equal to A2 F21. So, coming back to the arrangement, the all the radiation from the sphere falls on the cube wall. So, F12 equal to 1. So, substituting the F12 equal to 1 in this equation, F21 radiation from the surface 2, which is falling on the surface 1 portion of radiation, fraction of radiation leaving the surface 2 which is falling on the surface 1 equal to A1 by A2 equal to pi d square by 6 d square which is pi by 6. So, F12 equal to 1, F21 equal to pi by 6 that is the answer to the question. The next question, hemispherical furnace of radius 1 meter has a roof temperature 800 Kelvin and emissivity epsilon 1 equal to 0 0.8. The flat floor of the furnace has a temperature of T2 equal to 600 Kelvin with the emissivity of G epsilon 2 equal to 0 0.5. The view factor F12 from the surface 1 to 2 will be. The four options are there. The correct option is 0 0.5. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the arrangement is shown here. We have a hemispherical dome with a base circle. 
the hemispherical dome is represented by surface 1 and dome is represented by surface 2. Area of the hemisphere a1 equal to 2 pi r, r square, area of the base circle a2 equal to pi r square. So, we have the reciprocity rule a1 f1 2 equal to a2 f2 1. So, from considering the surface, the radiation leaving the surface 2 is completely falling on the surface 1, whereas radiation leaving the surface 1 is not completely falling. So, it is partially on the dome itself, remaining portion is falling on the base circle. So, all the radiation from the base falls on the dome. So, F21 equal to 1. So, in the equation, you substitute F21 equal to 1. So, F12, radiation leaving the dome falling on the base circle, A2 by A1 equal to pi r square divided by 2 pi r square equal to 0 0.5. So, the answer is 0 0.5. What is only 50 percent of the radiation leaving the surface 1, the dome falling on the base circle. The remaining 50 percent falling on the dome itself. The next question, an insulated pipe of 50 mm outside diameter with the epsilon emissivity 0 0.8 is laid in a room at 30 degree Celsius. If the surface temperature is 250 degree Celsius and the convective heat transfer coefficient is 10 watts per meter square Kelvin, the total heat loss per unit length of the pipe will be, we have four options. Look at the four options. The correct answer is 828.8 watts per meter length. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the arrangement. We have a cylinder of surface 1 which is placed inside a cube. The cylinder diameter is 0 0.05 meter with the emissivity 0 0.8, temperature 250 degree Celsius which is 523 Kelvin. The room of temperature 30 degree Celsius which is 303 Kelvin with the heat transfer coefficient 10 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, the total heat transfer equal to convective heat transfer plus radiation heat transfer. Convection heat transfer H A into T 1 minus T 2 plus radiation heat transfer from the Stephen Boltzmann law sigma A into epsilon into T 1 to the power 4 minus T 2 to the power 4. Substitute numerical values H equal to 10, area pi into 0 0.5 into 1, so 1 meter length, so pi into D into 1, temperature difference 250 minus 30 plus the heat radiation sigma 5.67 10 power minus 8, so area pi D into L, so pi into 0 0.05 into 1 and uh, epsilon equal to 0 0.8 into 523 to the power 4 minus 303 to the power 4. So, the convection heat transfer is 345.57, radiation heat transfer is 472.79, the total heat transfer between the surfaces is 828.36 watts. That is the correct answer to the question. The next question, the overall heat transfer coefficient due to convection and radiation for a steam maintained at 200 degree Celsius running in a large room at 30 degree Celsius is 17.95 watts per meter square Kelvin. The emissivity of the pipe surface is 0 0.8, the value of sigma equal to 5.67 10 power minus 8 watts per meter square Kelvin to the power 4. The heat transfer coefficient due to the radiation will be nearly, we have four options here. The correct answer is 11 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the answer for the cylinder, the surface emissivity is 0 0.8, temperature is 200 degree Celsius, which is 473 Kelvin. For the room, temperature is 303 Kelvin. So, the heat transfer Q radiation due to radiation equal to H radiation, heat transfer coefficient due to radiation into A area into T1 minus T2 equal to sigma A into epsilon into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4. So, using the second and the third term, H radiation is the unknown into area into 200 minus 30 equal to 5.67 in 10 power minus 8 into area into epsilon 0 0.8 into 473 to the power 4 minus 303 to the power 4. Area is getting cancelled. Left hand side, H radiation into 170 equal to 1888.14. So, solving the radiation 
heat transfer coefficient due to radiation equal to 11.1 watts per meter square Kelvin. That is the answer to the question. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can meet me, you can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in the solution for UPSC engineering service examination. Until then, bye.